Three weeks after U.S. and Canadian regulators shut down my Forex funds, the question that I am asked every single day is what are the best, the safest prop trading firms? In this video, I'll walk you through the six key factors that you can use to determine whether a prop trading firm is safe. But I hope you understand that we can never truly know if a company, a prop firm, or any company for that matter is really safe. My Forex Funds was one of the largest, most popular funding firms for traders. There are countless videos on YouTube putting them at number one of trading influencers promoting the company. And no one really knew what was going on behind the scenes of MFF until it was revealed by the CFTC. Because you're all smart enough to know that there will always be bad seeds and swindlers. And you can bet they'll go to great lengths to conceal their deceit. And you won't know about it until the scam is revealed. The best thing you can do is to use my six point due diligence checklist to filter out potentially high risk, less legitimate companies. So let's get right to the six point checklist. Number one, how long has the prop firm been around for? Everyone seems to have a prop firm these days, and this definitely raises the hairs on my arms. I do not. Boris and I were asked years ago before many of these companies were incorporated, whether we want to start a prop firm. And while I can lament that we missed out on 310 million in fees, which is what MFF made between November 2001 to present, and a fleet of Lamborghinis, it never sat right with me. Something, you know, always did not seem like it jived with our identity and our mission to help traders. Now, I won't argue that prop trading has helped many people and it's not going away. And I think it's a good resource to use. But please, please do some initial quick and easy research on some of these companies that you plan to trade with. Start by looking at how long they've been around. You've got companies like Top Step that started in 2010, Fiverr's that started in 2016, and my fund at FX in 2022. The prop trading industry is new, so many of these companies were incorporated between 2020 and 2021. But take a minute to research the founder, owner, to find out if they've been in the industry for longer. That's really important. Apex Trader Funding, for example, was started in 2021, but the founder has been working with these traders, or traders in general, since 2008. Number two, does the prop firm use their own liquidity provider, or they do they use a registered broker? Forex Prop Reviews has a very nice list of execution partners for many of these major prop trading firms. I've included the link in the description below. ACAP and FIC markets are regulated in the most jurisdictions. ACAP is regulated by the Australian regulator ASIC, the UK regulator FCA, SISEC of Europe, and SCB of the Bahamas. I always say, the more the merrier. Think Markets is regulated by ASIC, FCA, and Seychelles. The more eyes are looking at these companies, the better. Osprey FX, which some of these firms use, is not regulated at all. Purple Trading is regulated in the Seychelles, and I've never heard of FX Live Capital. Take it for what it's worth. Number three, are they on the CFTC Registration Deficiency, also known as the Red List? I've included that link in the description below. You can sort by date because a lot of these companies are new. True Forex Funds is on that list. Number four, this is simple. Do they have a professional website? Are there spelling errors on their website? Number five, check the YouTube channel or the Instagram account. Are they a 20 year old bro in flashy cars or someone with trading and life experience? Number six, what's their customer service like? Do they have a team providing quick, real time quality customer service? Or do they take days to respond to you? It sounds like the same one or two people. The best prop firm will also differ from person to person, trader to trader. It depends on your trading styles and your trading needs, which we'll talk about in a second. Some of you at this point will be disappointed that I haven't named the best prop firms. And the reason is simple. I'll admit that I have never traded a prop challenge. I trade with traditional brokers. So I can't honestly tell you which ones are better or worse and certainly not which ones are the best. I can get, just give you a list to kind of think about in terms of assessing them. Boris, the B of BK, does trade with prop firms like Apex, Fivers, Surge, FTMO, Top Step. He's done many funded trader challenges and he'll do a video on this in the future and you don't want to miss it. So if you make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the no notifications bell for updates. But I can share with you the important things to look for before selecting a prop firm. The best prop firm, as I said, can also differ from trader to trader. They're basic questions that you know should apply to you that you need to think about. like. What is the profit split? What is the maximum capital that they're giving you? Do you care? What's the drawdown? What's the target? And how does this work within your strategy? Then you also need to think about, 
do you trade with an EA or a robot? Some prop firms will allow it, some don't, and others will restrict trading when they see that you're using an EA. Just make sure you find out how the prop firm handles EAs before you get involved with them. Do your trades need breathing room? What's your trading style? What's your risk reward ratios? Because some prop firms use balance based drawdowns while others use equity based drawdowns. How much leverage do you need? Some firms give more leverage during the challenge and less when the account is funded. Do you use a trade copy? Some firms allow this and others don't. Regulation is coming, but prop firms aren't going away. And even after many of these firms admitted that they have you trading on simulated accounts and earning simulated profits, even after a deal canceled their relationships with many of these prop firms, the shutdown of MyForex funds did very little to deter traders from prop trading. Because as long as these prop trading firms are paying out, there will be demand. That's why the main thing they promote every day, these prop firms, is how much they're paying out. Just make sure you're looking into the prop trading challenges and going through your six point checklist because you know you want to make sure you're trading with legitimate companies. If you like this video and you want me to cover more topics, drop an idea and a suggestion in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates. I'll see you next time.